And once again, that is all for your sports update. And now batting. This is his big lead debut. He is pinch hitting for the entertainment segment. Number 44, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew DeLeo. Thanks, Kyle. It hasn't been high school since I've heard those numbers. Charlie Sheen is dedicated to making his one-man show a winning success. The actor added five more dates to his violent Torpedo of Truth tour, bringing his show to Ohio, Connecticut, Boston, and New York City. Sheen's official website states that a dollar for every ticket sold will go to the Red Cross to help victims in Japan. Well, tonight Tiger Woods goes head-to-head -head against one of his biggest rivals of all time, Jimmy Fallon? Woods will be the guest tonight on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, his first big appearance on television since the scandal between him and his ex-wife. Fallon originally defeated Tiger Woods in Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010 in Times Square. Tonight is the Bad Blood rematch. Both parties plan to come out swinging. Nathaniel D. Hale, also known as rapper Nate Dogg, is dead. The 41-year-old musician's family announced his passing to a newspaper based in his hometown. While the cause of death is still unknown, he was prone to strokes, having suffered two in the last four years. Nate Dogg has worked with several of rap's royalties, including Dr. Dre and the late Tupac Shakur. Prayers go out to his family and friends. Jermaine Jackson might not be synonymous with the moonwalk, but Michael Jackson's brother is making news. Today he announced that he will be releasing a memoir titled, You Are Not Alone, Michael Through a Brother's Eye. The book which will be released this fall plans to paint a loving portrait while not pulling any punches. Michael's sisters, Janet and LaToya, both have books out this year. Well, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame announcing its newest inductees today. Among those chosen were iconic frontman, Alice Cooper. Cooper, known for his elaborate shows with guillotines, gallows, fake blood, and baby dolls, arrived sporting a boa constrictor round his neck. His electric personality made Rolling Stone name him the most beloved heavy metal entertainer. Among other inductees are Neil Diamond, Darlene Love, Dr. John, Leon Russell, Jacques Holtzman, and Art Lupe. Well, for the first time in his five-decade career as singer-songwriter, Bob Dylan is going to play Vietnam. The legendary musician whose lyrics inspired social change, anti-war movements in the 60s is going to play one of the places he was protesting against. Tickets cost $43, but that's the equivalent to more than a month's worth of wages in Vietnam. Dylan is also playing China, another first for him. Well, that's all for entertainment. I'm Matthew DeLeo, and hopefully we didn't leave you blowing in the wind. Now back to the desk. <laughs> Thanks, Matt.